Hello! Today's episode of Grounding YouTube. We found a new spot and <laughs> we're just putting our feet on the tree. Can you, you, I don't know if we can show. Wait, I need to flip the camera. Hold on. Here, this is great. This is fucking great. This is our grounding today. <laughs> yes, because. So this absolutely counts too if you guys like don't have like a mountain and stuff because the tree has roots connected to the earth. So do you also get like this feeling that the camera is gonna fall on our face? <laughs> not I really. Not. No. Well, I have pure faith in yeah. your steel uh, yes. uh broad arm. I'm living <laughs> yeah, my steel arm is yeah. holding yeah. this yeah. camera. Up. So today's can, gonna be I can hold it too if you want. Oh, it's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. She's in pain. That's what we're going to talk about today. Yes. Tell, tell them what happened. <laughs> you ever guys seen okay. Home Alone? <laughs> you guys ever seen Home Alone? So, like, you know, and he has, like, the little race cars on the floor. And mm -hmm. he's, like, setting traps for the bad guys. And, like, they, like, come in and they slip. That's what I did. I was going to go check the mail. And I had full confidence. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And then I hit my elbow. And I'm like, oh. Uh, we head. don't we don't have it on tape unfortunately yeah. so installing a camera outside the door is gonna be the next project <laughs> yes so now she's in pain so now i'm in pain. in a lot of pain a lot of pain even if she doesn't say it i can tell yeah but she's been a fucking fighter and pushed through photo shoots and moving and all kinds of shit so tell me yeah how, how are you dealing with this pain how are you able to do things anyway well, one, I don't do things to where, like, I I know how to move my, like, I'm not bending over with just my back, right? I'm using my legs, too, so, like, if I have to, so I'm not overdoing the pain. And then the second thing I'm doing is I'm being mentally, like, okay, if I can get through this, I, like, for example, this grounding is it is going to give me more benefit that I came than if I didn't. So I got grounded today. I meditated. And just because I am in pain, um, I didn't like have to do a huge workout. I didn't have to do a huge hike, a huge walk. We did grounding and we came to a tree and we were able to manage it like that. So just because uh, things like that, we altered little things and I'm able to handle it increments at a time. So an hour at a time, a day at a time, sometimes a minute at a time. So do you have pain all day? I have pain all day. I have pain when I'm sitting. I have pain right now. They're like in my hips. So what do you, how do you, what do you say to yourself? Like how, because it, it doesn't sound like you're in pain. I, I can tell you're in pain in certain scenarios because you're different. Mm -hmm. But you're talking normal like how how does this work I why guess are you not just laying in bed like most people would do because i i don't want to accept i hate i think i hate feeling like i'm doing absolutely nothing more than i hate because i know i can get do something about it so if i had the old mentality of or i can get into a mode of this hurts really bad. I don't want to do anything. Right. And I can totally take that Avenue. And then my mind will start to be like justifying it. And I'll have this excuse, this excuse. But if I just stop it right, like at the beginning, okay, I had a lot of pain this morning. I was really grouchy. I got us some coffee that made us, me a little happy. Mm -hmm. So I knew that would make me a little happy. I gave myself a little bit of dopamine. Mm -hmm. Um, so I do things that like give me a little bit of, you know what I mean? Fit it in there too. Mm -hmm. And I, um, what are you doing to try to resolve the problem? Though? So to resolve the problem, I am not just going to get a quick fix anymore. Before I used to just go to the chiropractor and I'd get adjusted and then I'd wait like a couple of days and with like the heating pack and I wouldn't move as much as I am now, like for grounding or for mental health. Now I'm actually doing work. I'm doing homework. I am doing soft tissue repair. And so I'm doing exercises all day long i'm gonna be stretching all day long and honestly it's amazing because the pain goes away and like for like 10 minutes and then it'll come back but that's the point is like you keep doing it and then the pain eventually doesn't it's not gonna be there because i have to it's starting from somewhere like so we're getting to the root of the problem which is i love that we're having this conversation i said I told her in the car we were going to talk about this because she's in brutal pain right now. It hasn't been fixed yet. And I said, with all 
been there i've been there too and it's so bad and you know you overcome it and you know it's gonna work but you gotta have a little patience and have a little faith and just yeah. when it really gets to you does it really get to you sometimes sometimes it really gets to me and then honestly i say the serenity prayer for me mm -hmm. or i say like just a little like you know morgan like i calm myself down a little bit um because i know like if yeah I, I know me and I know, so I know my brain will start tricking me and then I'll be like, stop it. Okay, what am I grateful for? And then mm -hmm. I'll list like three things I'm grateful for. Um, I'm really, really grateful that I have you and I have you to support me and that amazing doctor I found. Oh my God, so grateful for that. I'm so grateful that I'm on this amazing journey and that we've been doing grounding and I feel good on the inside like I actually feel happy um and then I am really 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 grateful that I have <laughs> I don't know why I thought of this it cute. <laughs> <laughs> that I have um coffee at home to grind and to make <laughs> yeah that's great we gotta be grateful for the small things and the yeah things, but we were buying coffee like all day long and I was like, gosh, we just need to get a bag. Got a bag of coffee. So I'm grateful that we can just there's things like this. We're just laying outside with our feet on a tree. And we just went here on a Wednesday at whatever noon or whatever it is right now. And we just did this because we can do this. And we don't have to be anywhere else right now. Right. Right. Unless we want to. And the park or was not what we envisioned either and it didn't we deter us we drove somewhere <laughs> yeah and we went with it and we mm -hmm. were like okay this looks pretty man-made but trees are connected yeah. to the earth so we like to do every time or not every time we went to the same place two times in a row but typically i just type something in the gps and just drive somewhere and just it kind of takes you wherever mm -hmm. and then you just go for it so it's a new place every time yeah so it's been amazing because honestly the universe is just like bringing us to new places mm -hmm. and we're flowing with the water that's what it's about how many days have you had pain um this is like four days now so like i know we did i did two photos i did the photo shoot the other nights and that one was it's the bending over like and then that's what it hurts but so what do you think it. do you know how people often say something happens and say oh why the fuck does this happen to me? You know. Oh. How do you think that you know how? And I always say <laughs> things always happen for you. They don't they happen, happen to you. for so, me. Right now, this feels like it feels kind of shitty, right? Like yeah. it fell. It's kind of shitty. But, you, but I what think, do you think you're going to gain out of this? I think I'm going to gain to slow down. I want everything right now. I want quick fixes. I want everything. And I am like with the right doctor. I really think I'm going to gain like so many answers and data and like. And I just patience and like pause breath that is so hard for me to pause and to breathe and that's what I'm gaining so remember what we were talking about that the universe so if you ask for stuff from the universe it's not going to give it to you but it's going to give you opportunities yeah oh I man know. so guys when you ask for <laughs> things it's the same I said I for a long time I was asking for patience or I wanted to be patient and then I am giving like a scenario or an opportunity to be patient and then and then you know when it hits you at first so whatever it is you've asked for you know mm. now it hits you almost like oh fuck like this is not how i intended this to happen yes. right because it's it's kind of like a rough thing first mm -hmm. but then when you think about it when you all you got to do or all you got to do like you got to mentally mental toughness it's like it, all of the yeah. episodes go together yeah just fucking get work yes. get through it get better and then next time something happens mm -hmm. You're gonna handle it so much better and so much easier. And just and the first step is not gonna be easy. Neither is mm -hmm. the second step, the third step, the fourth. It might not be like easy, but it's gonna be worth it because, like she said, the next time it'll be it'll mm -hmm. be easier. So everything's always worth it because you end up paying for everything anyways. You either pay for it up front or you're gonna pay for it um, like after you purchased it, right? Like we mm -hmm. talked. So I would rather pay up front, which is why I'm doing the work right now with exercises, being mm -hmm. really grateful. Um, keeping my mind like active like also that's another thing I'm also not telling my body that it's like broken and and ooh, uh, my fingers hurt 
like <laughs> oh no she's hustling i had to tell her to chill this morning i'm like stop lifting shit <laughs> it's like i can lift this way just not this way so that's like another so i mean those thoughts definitely come in my head but then i, I like just let them flow by but also like, so a lot of people think or a lot of doctors would say too that resting 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 is all you should do but as a matter of fact movement is going to fix you faster yeah. obviously with care like careful yeah. you shouldn't go do dumb things maybe not train heavy like you usually do yeah. but being still and not moving is not going to fix anything no and honestly and moving like right now i've i haven't thought of the pain so like it gets your mind off of it as mm -hmm. well and it's also another toughness training right like mm -hmm. so I mean, your body will get in line with your head and vice versa. So I know that, you know, it's it's all connecting. So we're getting That's a good arm training, by the way. I've been holding it for 10 <laughs> minutes straight up. This is solid. Wait, do you have your phone there? No, I didn't bring it. Oh, you didn't? No. Wait, take my other phone here and shoot a clip on my arms. <laughs> okay. Honestly, it doesn't even bother me. Like, it, I feel it, but okay, it's let's funny. See your face. Just click on the camera. Oh, click oh, that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tap on the camera. <laughs> so sideways though really i did sideways. so it's youtube yes okay hold on stay right there so this is what she's been doing for literally 10 minutes 11 minutes 11 and a half minutes <laughs> <laughs> it's great yeah this is great all. how many days do you think it's gonna take before your pain is gone i think like maybe it depends on actually how bad do I want it? Do I want to do my exercises all day long? Because mm -hmm. that does depend on it. Like, yeah, of course, my body, like, you know, it's a natural biological thing. But um, I can put in a lot of work today. I can, if I work all day, I'm pretty sure I could feel good in, like, three days. I don't see why not. Yeah. If I don't put, why, like, why not, right? Like, if I stretch go. it out. There you go. There you go. I love it. Love it. The weather is so nice. It is nice. I thought it was going to be colder than it is. It's not. Mm. This is good. Pain free life. Pain free life. Love it. Go grounding. Grounding every day. No. Grounding every we're day. We're not doing it. We do it twice a week now. Twice a week. Every day would be great. If anyone knows where to buy the grounding mat, please let me know because I can't fucking find it. <laughs> There's a mat apparently that you can buy and have in your house that is supposed to do the same thing as actual grounding. Even though I think real grounding is better always. Yeah. But I'm mm. doing my research. I'm trying to find them. For anyone who lives somewhere where you do not have any sort of earth or nature anywhere around where you live. I'm sure there yeah, are those places. Like those like people very... on Mars and stuff. <laughs> Mars? No, no that's that a lot of ground. more grounding Wait, than never anything. Mind. I don't Probably. know. <laughs> like if you live in a shitty city somewhere, I don't know. Or if you're you like grounding. in jail. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to request a grounding <laughs> mat for myself. Straight Hello. up. Like this is mental health day. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. okay. <laughs> Tap out. We got to get shit done today. Yeah. So go do some grounding, guys. Go do some grounding. Do once a week to start with. Get that shit in. When you have that routine in, you do two days a week. And then maybe three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Yeah. Get started. But, but do don't it. procrastinate. Bye. Later. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, so, yeah, it's just grounding. Love it. We'll do a bare butt next time. <laughs> so it's full body. <laughs> full body. <laughs> ah.